Roast 83 live in Woodstock. And I do have some sad news to report. Our family had a turtle that we received from my aunt in 1979. 1979. That turtle has passed away after 43 years. Tank Turtle has passed away, which I'm actually pretty shook about because. I thought that damn thing was going to live to be a hundred and whatever years old. And he could have already been, you know, 40 or 50 years old when my aunt found him. What happened was the stupid thing was, was kept on trying to cross the road and my aunt would, they were very into conservation and nature. I don't even know. I know it sounds harsh, but I really don't know if they're still alive. Hopefully they are. I mean, they'd be pretty old, but I don't really have contact with that side of the family. So hopefully they're alive, but they were very into uh, nature and con cons conservation, not conversation. And they were also into conversation, but they were into nature. So they found this turtle and he just didn't want to stay on the one side of the road. So my aunt said, well, we might as well just keep this turtle. So they came over and they had a box and they said, oh, we have a present for you. And so the box had holes in it and I'm sticking it and they were like, oh, be careful. You don't want to, don't stick your fingers in there. And I'm like, holy crap. What is this thing that they're this present for me? Why, why should I? Why do I need to worry about sticking my fingers in these holes in this box? And they open it up, and it's this box turtle. And we had him for forty-three years. Forty-three years. That's the only thing animal I know living in captivity longer was the uh, the lungfish old granddad at the uh, Shedd Aquarium uh, in Chicago and that was not by one person this was owned by individuals this 43 years of this turtle so that maybe that's a re I'd like to think that's a record but I cannot verify that but yes, 43 years of this wonderful turtle that was actually pretty smart. He, If you called him, we would let him crawl around the yard when we were kids. And, and if you called him, he'd be like, hey, Tank, come here. Get back here, Tank Turtle. He would flip. He would turn around and he'd come back. He, he would come back if you called his name. So this was one cool turtle. So rest in peace, Tank Turtle. You were loved by many, even though when I was in my 20s, I didn't really take the best care of you. I didn't take the best care of myself either. But that's neither here nor there. But he was an awesome turtle. And I did just wanted to uh, uh, do a little a tr a shout out or a tribute to him. And wherever you are, Tank Turtle, I hope you're doing good. And now <clears throat> that I've got you all sad and depressed, let's move on to the beer review. Well, Christmas will be here sooner than you think. Well, I mean, the stores have been decorating since Labor Day for Christmas, so maybe you 
are well aware that Christmas is here. But with Christmas comes Christmas or seasonal winter beers. Well, today I did just that. I picked up a Sam Adams holiday slash Christmas variety 12 pack. Which I was a little apprehensive about because a while back I did do a Sam Adams review. I think this is was more of, of their spring and summer beers. And they were not to my liking. They were I think I said they were drinkable, but I would not actively purchase them again. So hopefully these are a little bit... Now, these are winter beers, so they probably will be a little bolder, maybe have a little more malt backbone than the uh, light-bodied uh, warmer weather beers. And the uh, traditional Sam Adams Boston Lager is actually in both packs and I will not be reviewing that because I think I reviewed it last time plus it's Sam Adams The uh, everyone has probably had the Sam Adams Boston Lager which is a very is a decent well balanced beer in fact it was the best one of all the beers in the spring pack by by a good margin but we're going to get into this, and we might do a couple to, uh, today. We will see what happens, but I'm already talking a lot, and I haven't even started with this one. So let's get right into it. This is the Sam Adam. What is this? This is just their traditional winter lager, which I may or may not, may or may not have had before, but you can get a good look at that. And now we're going to open it. We've got our Chicago Bears. Cover it with my hand. That really helps. Chicago Bears uh, bottle opener, which is very nice. So let's open this beer here. And it's, what does it say? It says Cheers from Sam Adams. There we go. And now we're going to... We've got a nice glass here. You can see you've got the stem... So your fingers, sometimes the warmth of your fingers can affect the taste of the beer. So it's good to have a glass like this. You can't always have that, but we're going to pour this beer. No, oh, this beer pours nice. Oh, oh, this looks real nice. And this is a, definitely, I would consider this a copper color. This is... This is a really nice looking beer. I mean, after reviewing that Michelob Ultra, what wouldn't be a nice beer, but you know. But look at that. That's got a nice head, beautiful copper color. I think we might be in for a treat here, but there's only one way to find out. Have a smell. This has some nice, a very pleasant aroma. I have to say this is a nice aroma. I don't, like I say, breaking down each specific aroma and subaroma. Not really my thing. I think those who have watched this channel are very well aware of that. But I do try my best. Maybe, hopefully one day I can start do, getting that right. But we'll see. Let's get a sip. Okay, this is a nice, nice beer. This is a real nice beer. Not too heavy, like, it's not as heavy as some of the Imperial Stouts I'll be reviewing, but it's, it's definitely not a summer beer. So this is good. I'm going to get another sip to really give you a solid opinion.
there's a a slight bitterness up front, but it really has a very solid malt backbone. I recommend this. I have to say, I would recommend this one. Take this when you go to the the uh, the office Christmas party or this uh, friends giving, as they call it, that's very popular with people that have friends. Um, but uh, bring a six pack of this if they have it in six pack. Maybe they only have it in the variety pack. But this is real nice. You know, get this for your boss for Christmas or for Hanukkah or Kwan, whatever you might celebrate. This is real nice. I mean, this, I'm looking at the beer. I should be looking at the scammer, but this is real nice. So definitely think about picking up one of these for Christmas, Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, if for Christmas gift for the boss. This is going to go over well. It's just a solid, strong, not even too strong. It's just a solid winter beer that is going to make you feel all warm and toasty inside. Like, what more could you ask for? This gets the I'm giving it a I'm giving it a four out of five because I didn't expect any of these beers to be anything more than average or below average but this is solid so it is getting a four out of five from your man gross 83 so definitely go out and buy this that's it I would like to thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening.